hello guys welcome back to the youtube channel of the concept guy and in this video we will do multi-component distillation in dw sim so i have taken a problem from mcap smith uh, unit operations in chemical engineering and this is the example 19.4 that will that i will show in dw sim okay and i hope i will cover most of the methods to actually do the multi-component distillation so in this question we have a mixture of four person and pentane 40 percent N hexane 50 percent, N heptane 6 percent, N octane, and all of this mixture is in a feed that is to be distilled at 1 atm to get 98 percent of the hexane and 1 percentage of the heptane in the distillate. We need the minimum reflex ratio for this. Let's start. So here we open the DW sim software, go to file and go to new process simulation. Uh, let's wait for it. Yes. Then let's select the components that are N pentane starting from n pentane then we have n hexane hexane then we have heptane and finally octane these components are we have selected them and because these components are almost idle so i will just select the raul's law here let's add it it's added over here then we click on next go to c5 and pressure is my ATM. Rest everything looks good to me. Let's finish it and undock this. Uh, get it down. The feed stream, then the distillate stream, then we need a bottom product stream, the condenser duty, then the reboiler duty. Okay. And in the columns, we can actually use the chemsep too, and uh, the distillation column also, and shortcut column also. But I will just start with the shortcut column. Okay. So things are really easy in the shortcut column at first feed stream uh, this one is feed stream yes this is feed let's name it feed F W -E D. this one is distillate uh, let it be D this one is bottoms let it be B uh, let's connect all of them uh, distillate uh, damn uh, feed uh, B Condenser duty is this up one and reboiler duty is this one. Okay, uh, everything is connected right now here and let's move on to the next thing that is the specification of the feed. So in feed, we have the data that it is one ATM uh, at a one ATM pressure. And if you see here, the Q value is one. That's the quality of feed is one, which really gives us an idea that the feed is only liquid. So we have the pressure and the vapor fraction vapor fraction to be zero the pressure to be one atm that we have here one atm okay so and the flow rate let's consider 100 kilomole per hour you can consider anything for this case but let's just take this 100 value and pentane hexane heptane octane okay four percent forty percent fifty percent six percent okay so four percent that means four divided by hundred uh no that mean that means 0 0.04 then hexane 0 0.5 heptane he, hexane was 0 0.5 uh, no he, hexane was 40 and this was 50 okay hexane was 0 0.4 and this was 0 0.5 uh, and last is 0 0.06 yes total is one so accept changes so we have finally uh, let's go to the distillation column light key is pentane uh, so the light key is pen n pentane because it's light and the heavy is n octane but here if you see then we need 98 percent of the hexane and one percentage of the heptane recovered in the distillate so what we want we have actually the data of hexane and heptane out of which hexane is light and heptane is heavy so we will mention them hexane as light and heptane as the heavy key and then we find out that 98 percent of hexane and one percent of heptane which means that uh, n heptane is heavy key so one percent it is already one percent but this is bottoms remember this the light key component in the bottoms in the distillate the n hexane is 98 percent and uh, on a very good scale we can actually make it 0 0.02 so that's two percent left in the bottoms okay reflex ratio let it be 1.5 uh everything seems good let's solve the flow sheet 
uh, what's the error invalid value of this okay uh, what does that mean let's see our feed is correct I guess it's one ATM and how did it change 100 kilo mole per hour zero and 0 0.04 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.06 0 0.04 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.06 that's good 98 percent one percent everything seems good is there something else we're missing feet distillate bottoms error name D what's this name D parameter D what is this errors during the calculation of flow sheet uh, parameter D invalid value of distillate rate okay uh, why light key component is n hexane this is n heptane heavy key component leak, uh, light key mole fractions in bottoms okay that's the mistake a very small mistake 0 0.02 so you see you have to just figure out what is going wrong check the values again and again and now it's okay and we have the results as well so minimum reflex ratio is 1.31528 okay and yes let's check out the distillate and click on the distillate and see what the amounts hexane is 0 0.89 and heptane is 0 0.01 that we desired so let's check up the values first minimum reflux ratio 1.31528 and here we have the solution of this problem and let's see what where is the answer uh, this is the minimum reflux ratio which comes out to 1.34 we have even less than that okay uh, maybe because of DW seems some calculation methods which are different from the normal process uh, there are the, the error is really 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 minimal and let's see the other values yes we have the XD values here which is 0 0.092 uh, let's see uh, in the distillation 0 0.092 that's correct 0 0.897 0 0.897 that's also correct 0 0.011 uh, that's also correct and zero wow yes this is really really small so what else what we can do here is that now using this so what we can do is using these data we can actually try the chemsep column too okay okay so we can try the chemsep column or the rigorous distillation column and let me just focus on the chemsep column uh, but I need to remember these values too. Uh, 1.319. Uh, okay. Anyways, so in the chemsep column, let's delete it first. In the chemsep column, let's put, click and drag it over here. And this is a good column method because you can actually, uh, it's a custom model because you can actually change it to actually get to your needs. Uh, why is it loading so much? Okay, this chemsep is going on. Uh, there are various methods here to do the distillation. Okay, single column and complex column, simple azeotropic distillation too. And let's just go with the simple distillation stages where, however, how much were the stages? Okay, you need to actually take the data from the shorter distillation, put it over here. And then uh, this window will come up where you can actually uh, you can actually enter the values later also uh, no I don't want to save reposition it and you can connect the stages here like feed stage 10 so the feed is here yes it's connected outlet the top product here is my distillate and bottoms is my come on come on come on bottoms is my B energy streams also okay so here you see this open cape open object editor actually this column is a cape open object you see it is written cape open because even if you go here and put it out here the cape open unit operation you can actually get the chem set here okay and many other things that we will talk about in the further videos okay so it's the same column actually if you see okay but you just need to specify it one thing that I really want to show you is okay you can actually go to this open cape open object editor and edit everything 
I hope the video helped you uh, because many of you asked me what is happening, uh, what, how to do the multi-component distillation and here is the perfect method to do it using cape open operation too but first you can actually go to the shortcut column and do it do it that way so thank you guys that's it